Today, we're gonna to be doing a really quick review of the iRobot Roomba i5 Plus vacuum. This is a self-emptying vacuum, which is why the charging station is much larger, but this also has a mopping function. So I'll definitely show you guys more about that in just one moment. But just a few benefits of going up a few tiers for the iRobot vacuums, you guys get the mopping function, it is self-emptying and also creates smart maps. So this can actually tell what room it's in and you can even hook it up to Alexa and tell it, hey, clean this room and it'll come to the room that you specify and clean it. Those are just some of the really cool features that comes on this iRobot i5 Plus vacuum. So with that being said, let's take just a slightly closer look at the vacuum. Then we'll take a closer look at what's going on here on this massive charging station. So on the top here, we have a really cool fabric design on the outside. And I've been using this for a little over a month. And I even got this used. So before I've been using it, someone else has and the top still looks really clean. It has a home button right here. So if you press that, it'll return back to the charging station. You guys have the power on. So if you press that, it will start cleaning. And then you guys have the spot cleaning function where it'll basically just do loops wherever you set it down to clean up a big spill. And this is where it takes most of its beating. This definitely isn't gonna be the prettiest part of your iRobot but it's gonna be fine. It's still gonna function just fine. It's just one of those things where this is designed to take the impact whenever it knocks into stuff. So it's gonna get a little marked up. So on the bottom here, we have some really big wheels that helps it get on top of carpet. Even if it's fairly tall carpet, the wheels do adjust slightly too if it needs to go under something slightly thinner. We have the actual brush arm, so this spins and points kind of everything straight into these two rolly wheels or whatever you want to call them. These are all rubber, so they're very easy to clean, which is one of the coolest things about this, but they still do a really good job at actually picking up debris. Then back here, this is just how the actual charging station over there sucks all the debris out of here into there. So that's why there is a flap here. So to remove this dustbin, just press on the side here and it kind of pushes it out. Now you guys have access to here. Normally, if you guys are using the self-emptying function, you don't really have to do this too often, but you guys do have a filter here that is replaceable. So if you guys ever see that this is getting really clogged up, just throw another one in there and you guys should be good to go. All right, so here is the mopping attachment. So basically you just remove this one and you put this one in instead. But before I install this, I wanna show you a little bit more. So over here, this is where you fill it up with water and you guys can use some cleaning solutions, but you need to make sure that the cleaning solution that you guys use is compatible with the Roomba. They do say that just some water will be fine, but you guys get this replaceable pad here. So if this ever gets too dirty, you guys could always just get a new one and then throw it on here, but this is washable. So this should last you quite some time. So basically you put the water in and you throw this corner in first and it could be a little bit more difficult because you can't see it, but now I have it installed. And so we have the mop function here and it'll still suck up some of the debris because it still has that dustbin. But it's just really cool that you guys could do multiple things with this. You guys could vacuum and mop all at the same Roomba. It also does have some sensors here to let it know if it's about to go downstairs. So that's something that they've already thought of and it will catch itself before it goes downstairs. So that's really important because these will probably not enjoy going down a flight of stairs. So here is the charging station and we have a little port here that matches up with the port on the Roomba. So that is where it sucks all the debris out of the Roomba into here. So we have a really nice looking charging station and it also doubles as a storage for all the debris. So basically here we have a little bag and you guys can remove this pretty easy. You just pull up and we'll take the bag out. So this is the bag, it's all sealed up if you have it like this, but when you install it, you just go ahead and uh, throw this down and you slide it straight in there. But this is where all the debris gets basically sucked into after the Roomba's done with its job. Now to put this back, just slide it back in, make sure that's down and you're all set. So it's a fairly simple design. I really like the way it looks and this leather accent here. And overall, it seems to do a really good job. 
Now, one of the coolest parts is that you guys have an app that is purely for this Roomba. So basically, right now it's unplugged, so it's gonna say it's unable to start. But you guys have a bunch of different things you guys could do here. And when you guys first install this into your house, it'll basically map out your house and it'll give you a little map there. So if you guys click that, it'll show you all your rooms and then you guys could set up a bunch of different settings. You guys could create favorite jobs. So you guys could create a job that's clean the kitchen, clean the living room and stuff like that. You guys could even schedule when it turns on and when it does certain rooms. It also shows you the battery life of the Roomba. And right now mine is still maxed even after vacuuming for about 10, 15 minutes. So I really enjoy having this app. It really makes this a lot more fun to use. So anyways, that is a really quick review of the iRobot Roomba i5 plus.